my wolves to my playthrough of Mass Effect 3. And so it happens again. I recorded this episode through episode 19 yesterday from the day that I'm recording this. And I went to edit it this morning. You know, split it apart and I had to double check something with this episode and the commentary episode. Good thing I had to check something in this episode. I probably would have never ca caught it. No, and take that back. I would have caught it because even though I write the times down, I always go back a little bit before to listen to the outro to, to check where the commentary is. But anyways, I, his, whenever is you, but, but commentary was a little bit off. It was like very twitchy. At, at the point where I was looking for stuff, it was very twitchy. And then I don't know if it was that way before that, but from then on, it was, it was off. You know, you know how I, I've had a couple episodes that I've uploaded of things where it's been that way, where the, the commentary audio has been slightly off from what you're looking at. And it was, no, I could not upload in good conscience five episodes of Mass Effect 3 that were, the commentary is off. I didn't even want to upload one, much less five. So here I am recording them again. So I did have one thing happen in the, when I was recording though, that kind of makes me think, uh, I, I hope that doesn't happen. Cerberus activity on Tachunka. I've marked it on the galaxy map. Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the war summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie. Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of the shoebox. Yeah, I agree there. But anyways, so there was this issue I ran into. I was recording this episode before. Hopefully I don't run into it this time. I'm going to be very upset if I run into it and then we play through the game and then a certain thing happens. Which I'll talk more on that when I reach that point. Because I will reach that point in this episode. And that's the stuff about Thanatopetus, which is the Asari that we found both in a... Saren's lab and in um, Akira's lab. Kira, hey. Reiterating that STG will be there to help. And from Farron, which I think I already used that info because I went to go check it out and it wasn't there. So anyways. I'll go down to the shuttle bay first. <coughs> As I did the first time around. And Cortez is over here. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry, this bird can rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. 
I can agree with that. What about your waking hours? Any R and R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well. I relate to that, but you gotta. There's a ways to keep busy without being working. Like what I'm doing right now, though someday it might be work. I don't view it as work. I hope. I hope I never get to a point where I view it as work, even if I start getting paid for it. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there were views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know if this is considered flirting with him. <sighs> Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. I find it very hard to say no to you, Shepard. I really hope Should. that it's not considered flirting. Because I don't want to say it's an order. Unless I have to. I wonder what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sir Kesh. Your guess is as good as mine. I hear we're headed to Tachanka. Would love to see how things turn out. I'm just saying. Rex is a badass. I bet he's got some real interesting stories to tell. Oh yeah, he does. More than something else. His mouth moves faster than a frog on a hot rock in the middle of summer. Morton is great. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? The hum is Normandy's engines, man. At least I hope that's what it is. Alrighty. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. That's not the math. Did for us? The colony? Yes. I was on a little thing called the news. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. Lose the piece or lose your spot on this ship, Allers. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Thanks, Commander. What's your choice, Allers? Like you said, it's just your opinion, right? I'll pull it. See, my thing is, A, there's people from Terra Nova on this ship, and she's very well, or well aware of it. Aware of that. So it's insensitive to them. And it's insensitive to people fighting to save Terra Nova. For two, if you start saying it's okay to let this planet slip so that you can save others, before you know it, you're letting that planet slip and this planet slip and you're just letting things go because to save these others. And before you know it, you hardly have anyone left because you're letting these planets go. And people aren't going to be on your side anymore because you're letting these people go. <sighs> All right. Anyways, I don't think there's anyone in here, right? No, there's no one in there yet either. Um. Okay, let's start with Liara. It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Hello again. Oh yeah, they are not have anything to say. That's uh, just talking about... Getting platinum. At 
at your service. Heroes. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Hmm. Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. You and me both, pal. I guess we're at war with Cerberus now, huh? I've never actually seen a female Krogan. Seems like they're the real brains on Tichon. Good to see Morton still alive and kicking, and still finding new ways to cause trouble. Another time. Alrighty. So now, let's go talk to Morton. And hopefully I don't have that glitch again. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard. We were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Common phobia. Fear of needles. We're Solarian doctors. A word when you have a moment, Shepard. Maybe with an inhibitor. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzing process would fail. Severe neurological damage. Never mind. What are you talking about? Method to extract functional cure without killing you. Many variables. Your immune system compromised. Considering options. <coughs> and you have to do it out loud? Yes. Auditory learner. Need to hear self think. Simulate conversation to promote new ideas. Maximize productivity. But you're talking about me dying. Oh, apologies. Medical details causing emotional distress. I hadn't considered effect on patient. Just means I can't sleep. Doing my best to keep you alive will avoid sensitive subjects. All right. Now let's find out. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Stable for now, but lack of any data detailing Malin's work. Problem. He says the same thing. I hate to ask this, but will it affect the cure? No cure will remain. <sighs> but Eve's long-term prognosis. But I saved the data. I saved the data. He has the data. He should have the data. I checked and I double checked and I triple checked to be sure since I last recorded when I tried to record this before. I saved the freaking data. What happened to the data? Why is the data not here? I swear it better be a glitch in the system. And when we get down to it, Eve better survive. If Eve dies, I am re redoing this entire playthrough. From the beginning. From the top. I did not do a playthrough where Eve dies. Be okay with it. And I know I imported the character... Because otherwise, Rex, Rex wouldn't be alive. And... 
her, I don't know which it chooses by default, whether it's Caden or Ashley, actually. But, um. Ah! Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect, health trouble. Do you think you can make this work for all Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well. Tune hormone production. Long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her? My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. No. You've always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat, outlet for aggression, cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else? No personal stake here? Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left, but still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Possibly. Stakes too high for an experience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. There are personal stakes in it for him. He just doesn't want to admit it. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until right, I forgot to deal with the... Not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny. I've got to deal with the stream. You'd go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashore. Because it cuts off a little bit on my TV screen. I worry that about that between saving my life, Commander. Episode, so. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. <coughs> I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tashanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. I found Malin's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Solarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. 
What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the Genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence. Excuses to earn them honor. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half a Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that, you can tell him. <laughs> Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it. But I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. How has Morton been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry gorge offspring have an allergy to dairy and a <laughs> Well, it wasn't his ear. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. <laughs> I'm glad for the opportunity. Yeah, I'm glad to meet you too, Eve. Even if you won't tell me your name yet. Alright, anyways. I'm going to call this an episode here. And next episode I will go down to Eden Prime. And go get Javik. Because that was the thing I did next on my playthrough for. Um, that's the one I loaded save over this one um i'll go get javik next episode i should be able to get through most of his mission that mission in next episode and then i will go to citadel after that and pick up side missions drop off a couple side missions that i have um as well as do a couple missions I think there's a couple missions that I will do while there. Um, because I gotta talk to Miranda, which I'm pretty sure will start a side mission. 
uh, unless that's later on. I think that might be later on. But there's a Solarian I got a Solarian inspector I got to talk to who will do who which involves Kasumi. But I'll do that next episode or the episode after next episode or the episode after that. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I'll get through most. I'm not sure which episode it was. It was episode 18 last time I was recording, but we'll see how it goes this time. But in the meantime, thank you guys all so much for watching. Like and subscribe down below if you want to see more. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And as always, keep it real, spread the love, and stay determined. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.